In her sworn defense in the case by APNU plus AFC regional candidate Yolita Moore seeking to block the recount, Justice Singh gave her undertaking to carry out the recount. The orders blocking the recount was granted by Justice Franklin Moore last Tuesday. In her affidavit in defense, Justice Singh noted that on Friday, March 13th, she appeared before Chief Justice Roxanne George in a contempt motion concerning the tabulation by the Region 4 Returning Officer Claremont Mingo for the March 2nd general and regional elections. She stated that at that time she indicated to the court that the tabulation process was in progress and should there be discrepancies in the statements of poll as called by the returning officer and those held by political parties, then the discrepancies should be noted and at the end of the process, if they could not be addressed, then she would endeavor to facilitate a recount at the level of the commission. As such, she gave the same undertaking in the new proceedings before the court. While the chair, the chief elections officer and the Guyana Elections Commission have been named as respondents, several parties have been added to the case, including the opposition leader, Barra Jagdio, Riaz Holliday, who had challenged the declaration by the district for returning officer, and three parties, a new and united Guyana, the new movement, and the Liberty and Justice Party. Arguments in the case have not yet begun. This process, <clears throat> as it stands right now, seems like it is going to be drawn out for a long time. I think the judge had mentioned that they will reconvene on Saturday to, to hear the matter again at some point. Um, what, I, what is disturbing is that at this juncture in this country, we have a political, um, what I'd say, a politician who is saying that they are, that they are fully in agree with, with all these things and yet they are filing to literally block the case from going forward. The opposition leader, Barra Jagdier, seeking to have the statements of poll from District 4 presented in court, but the chief elections officer will resist that request. Mr. Jagdier has filed an application seeking recovery, seeking discovery, asking for all the statement of polls to be presented to the court. Those issues we object to that. We say the court doesn't have jurisdiction to deal with that issue. That is for election petition and we're going to have argument on that tomorrow at 10 o'clock. One of the GCOM commissioners says Gunraj indicated that the commission has not yet filed the defence, but he sees no problem with the statements of poll from Region 4 being tabled in court. What I've observed today is a very stringent uh, objection by those two parties, representatives. Uh, when I say those two parties, I mean the chief elections officers, lawyer, uh, that application and it that like I said that is the only thing I want to address and I want to ask the question why why is there a very stringent and uh, violent almost objection to the disclosure of those documents that are in the possession of the chief elections officer it, it matters not uh, and so please Elections are uh, uh, in the possession of the people. It is not dogs and cats that vote in elections. They are citizens just like you and I. And citizens who vote have a right to proper and transparent processes for the declaration of their results. And statements of poll, which are the conclusive evidence of the results of those elections, of course, are, are, I believe, an entitlement of electors who participated in the process. Uh, when it, I, I disagree, uh, I disagree uh, strongly with the contention that this is not the forum and that it should be for an elections petition. But like I said, I am not, I am not here to argue the case of one party or, an, or another in the proceedings. What I am concerned with is that as a commissioner, uh, who is sworn to uphold the tenets of the Constitution and who has a responsibility to the citizens of Guyana who own this process, I believe that it should, that application should not be met with such uh, objection. It is unclear at this time when arguments in the case will start, but the attorney for the applicant had this to say. Well, we have until Thursday at 4 o'clock to do submissions, so it's unlikely the judge would make a decision or render a decision before the end of the week or early next week. 
The declaration of the overall winner in the March 2nd polls hangs in the balance as the court matter ensues. The Ghana Elections Commission had agreed to a national recount of all the votes cast on March 2nd, but the recount was blocked after Yulita Moore, a candidate for APNU plus AFC, moved to the court to block it, saying GCOM cannot allow the recount based on an agreement by her leader, President David Granger, the opposition leader, Barra Jagdew, and the Caribbean community CARICOM, which had come to an agreement with the two leaders to supervise the recount. Reporting for the newsroom, Neil Marks.